Let's learn about the three domains of life, and they are bacteria, eukarya, and archaea. Bacteria is a domain of life that's prokaryotic, which means it doesn't have a nucleus. Bacteria are also unicellular and microscopic, which means they can really only be seen by a microscope. Now, bacteria are going to differ from archaea by having peptidoglycan in their cell walls. The domain archaea does not have this peptidoglycan. Now, bacteria can either be heterotrophic or autotrophic, and there's only one kingdom, eubacteria. Archaea is next. This domain is prokaryotic and unicellular, and most live in extreme environments. Now, you would think that since bacteria and archaea are both unicellular and prokaryotic, they'd be more closely related than eukaryotes. However, the archaea domain is more closely related to the eukarya domain. With that being said, archaea still doesn't have the peptidoglycan within their cell walls like bacteria do. And archaea can be both heterotrophic and autotrophic. And there's only one kingdom, archaea bacteria. Lastly is our domain, which is eukarya. This is the most diverse domain, and there are four kingdoms within this domain. Animals that are multicellular and heterotrophic, plants that are multicellular and autotrophic, protists which are unicellular and can be either autotrophic or heterotrophic, and fungi which are multicellular and usually decomposers. You can see the common ancestor here that all three domains are related to, even though bacteria and archaea are both unicellular and prokaryotic. Here's another way of looking at it. You can see bacteria and archaea are both prokaryotic, while the eukarya domain is eukaryotic. However, remember protists can be unicellular, but most are gonna be multicellular and very diverse.